Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, as you can see, I'm looking very festive. I'm feeling very festive. I want to share with you a sort of a cream cheese stuffed croissant baked French toast that we're going to add some eggnog to, and it is going to be so be beautiful, so festive. It's going to make your home smell incredible and it's the perfect thing to make if you are looking to maybe do a brunch or a breakfast at the holiday season and you don't want to get up at 5 a.m you could assemble this the night before and then bake it the next morning do a yogurt some fruit and you call it a day now we had a bit of a technical difficulty where we thought this part was recording but it wasn't but all i did in here was mix together some softened cream cheese a little bit of granulated sugar a splash of vanilla, and just a tiny bit of eggnog. And I just wanted to point something to the eggnog. Do you see the rich color of this eggnog? And you can also see the whole, like some of the spices in there. Around this time of year, there are so many different kinds of eggnog that you can buy. And a lot of times it just takes you having to try a couple to figure out what the best one is. You just wanna make sure that you buy one that has really delicious deep flavor and it's not too bland. And sometimes they're a little, you know, they're a couple dollars more, but I only buy it once a year or unless I make it myself and it's just so worth it. Now I'm using croissants that you can use challah bread, you could use any sort of um, eggy bread like that, but I love croissant, croissants and I love them for this time of year. And what I do is I just, these are stale by the way, which is a good thing. I open them up sort of like a book, like that. And then I take the back of a spoon, take some of that filling, and I literally just smear it in there. And you want that filling, filling, filling to be quite nice and creamy like that. And then I just literally put them right in a greased pan just like that, does not have to be perfect. It will work out in the end. Just continue, and then we make our custard. They're all in there, it's looking great. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the custard. I make this in just a giant measuring cup, just because it's easy. You need a couple of cups of milk. You're gonna need some eggnog. It smells so good already. Now I'm gonna add some eggs because you're gonna need them for the custard. This is so easy. Say you're doing, like sometimes if my father-in-law, um, they, they come back from Florida, because he lives in Florida, um, they'll stay over and I'll do like a holiday breakfast or something like that. I have made this and or my savory breakfast casserole more times than I can imagine or more times than I can think of. Um, and then I've done it with eggnog, I've done it with just heavy cream, um, you name it. And then just add spices to make it really special, but it's so easy every single time. You're gonna need a little bit of lemon zest and a little bit of orange or clementine zest. Not a lot so that you taste a ton of citrus, but the citrus makes the spices really bloom. And we're gonna just sort of add a little bit of spice, the same spices that are in eggnog, such as nutmeg, ground cloves, ground cinnamon, um, just to echo that eggnog flavor. And really good vanilla, of course, I'm just gonna give it a shake, and a pinch of salt. And it smells incredible, you know what it smells like? If you're Italian, you know, if you know, you know. The nutmeg and the cloves and the citrus smells like rococo. It just, it smells exactly like it, makes me so happy. It's a must at Christmas, pinch of salt. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same whisk and just give it a little whisk around to make sure it's all combined. Now you're just gonna basically fill this up. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna think to yourself, oh, there's so much custard in the bottom of my baking dish. But over time, because this really needs to sit for a minimum of about six hours, but overnight is your best bet. And the croissants or whatever bread you're using is just gonna soak up all of that custard. And you're gonna be amazed at what happens when you let it sit overnight. So I'm just gonna maneuver this around. I'm just gonna use the spoon. I'm gonna maneuver them around and then you'll see what happens um, when they sit. I'm gonna continue to do this, but I'm gonna cover them with plastic wrap and pop them in the fridge um, until, cause I'm actually gonna do this for a dessert tonight. So it's early in the morning and then we're gonna serve it tonight and it's gonna be fantastic. So I'm gonna just maneuver these, cover in the fridge till later. This was in the fridge for six hours. Now I will say the longer the better. So if you do this the night before and let it sit in there all night long, it will be even better. You can see it has absorbed so much of that liquid. I thought I had a spoon near me, but I don't. Mm, but look how much is soaked up. I mean, it's 
really squidgy and perfect at this point. I've got my oven preheated to 350. It's gonna take a while to bake. Covered 45 minutes, uncovered 30 to 45 minutes. It, it's gonna be so worth it. But make sure you cover it tightly with some aluminum foil. Pop it in. After 45 minutes, take it off and leave it in there for another 30 minutes or so. This was in the oven for, like I said, 45 minutes covered, and then I uncovered it, and it actually only took about 20 minutes, but just keep an eye on it because some ovens do vary, and it smells and looks amazing. It just came out, and just know that as you cut into it, it will deflate, but it will be perfect. Now, what you can do, you see how it absorbed all of that custard? What you can do is make, oh yeah, like a cranberry syrup. All you take, all you do is take maple syrup and some fresh cranberries and you just warm them up together until the cranberries burst and then you just right on top of your French toast. But I'm going simple today. <laughs> As all well, this is not enough. I mean, they've got the filling, we've got the flakiness of the French, of the croissant. Um, it's gonna be incredible, I already know it. It's gonna be really hot, and I am, did not let this wait long enough, because as you can see, if you let it wait, the cream cheese will not come out, and it is very steamy. Hold on. Listen, sous chef is having a ball, okay? If you can hear her partying, she's having a ball. But hold on, let me cool this down. Mmm. Go. That's incredible. That's quite literally the best baked French toast you'll ever have in your entire life. Let it cool, don't be me. But also maybe be me because when it's boiling hot that it's incredible. Go to Laura in the kitchen account for the ready recipe. Make this, make the cranberry syrup if you want it to. It'll be nice and festive. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.